Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to the Ellison Education video series. We're talking today about Pangaea, or how all of the continents were one supercontinent and over time they eventually divided to form the continents as we know them today. This division is a result of plate tectonics. And I have a friend who's a middle school teacher and she said that the best way that she had of it demonstrating this to her students was an experiment. She took a lid of a box and with an X-Acto knife cut a slit and then this is just simply a piece of cardstock or construction paper. I've slipped it through the slit and I'm going to be able to pull it. This intersection is where the two plates are colliding. But before doing that, she took and she said sometimes she used rice, sometimes she used beans, but by just scattering this around and then pulling one plate so that it's colliding with the other plate, you begin to see how all of the rice is accumulating in much the same way that the mountains are formed. She felt that this was a really visual way for them to understand this concept in plate tectonics. One thing to look at when you're talking about Pangaea is the actual continents themselves and the supercontinent, which I have represented here. Now, in order to create this, we need the continents. So if you look over here, what I have, the continent all-star, is these are all-star dies, and the continent set is a four-die set. So I've placed all four dies in the tray. I'm going to be running it through the Big Shot Pro, and I've got colored paper, multiples, three or four or five sheets of colored paper, because I might want to be able to give a continent die to each of the students in my class. So in order for that to happen, I want to be able to cut multiples at one time. You can see here is a couple of Asia. There's all the different continents that you're able to cut all at one time in order to create what will be the representation of Pangaea. If you look here, using the existing continents, by just making a couple of modifications, I'll bring over Asia as we know it today by just trimming off what would be the Indian subcontinent and trimming off the Arabian Peninsula and repositioning them over where they were in Pangaea, you can demonstrate how they broke off, they drifted, and then they collided with Asia and formed the mountain chains like we just saw in the demonstration. Being able to cut all of these allows every student to have these visuals to create this kind of a chart. If you look at things like Asia and Europe and how perfectly they fit together, you can talk about things like fossils that were found in continents that were very far apart that helped to reinforce the concept of why Pangaea did exist as one continent. All of these are possible when you have access to the fun dyes like this. You know, in a world where most kids are familiar with superheroes like Batman and Iron Man and superstars like Jackie Robinson and Taylor Swift, wouldn't it be great if they were equally knowledgeable about the supercontinent known as Pangaea?